What's up everyone? I'm Travis and you're watching Upgraded RC. Welcome back. In this video, you're not going to see me doing any upgrades to this. You're not going to see me turning any wrenches or twisting any screwdrivers today. Why? Because the 970 Crawlers Club has invited us to come film Crawlzilla 2020 right here in Whitewater, Colorado, area BFE. Now guys, I'm going to do this for two reasons. Number one, I'm a huge RC enthusiast. I love RC everything. And this is such an awesome honor. Why would I not do this? Number two, this is a huge crawler competition being put on by the 970 Crawlers Club in association with Operation 11 Charlie and Upgraded RC to benefit veterans with PTSD. That's right, 100% of the proceeds from this crawler comp went to benefit veterans. We are fighting PTSD through RC therapy. Give a vet a car, watch him crack a smile, have a great day. You know guys, I know you've heard this said probably a million times, but our freedom is not free. These guys leave our country as soldiers, go to foreign countries, fight foreign wars to protect the very freedoms and rights that we take for granted every day. Now, these guys may come back physically damaged, maybe emotionally or mentally damaged, or all the three. So I feel that it is our duty to take care of our veterans in our community, to do whatever I can do for them to give them a little bit of relief, even just for a moment to make their day great, just to see them crack a smile. So and apparently there's a lot of sponsors that feel that way as well. We had sponsors coming out of the woodwork to help us out with this. They donated a decent amount of dough. They donated parts, they donated accessories to make this the best crawler comp we could possibly have. And I gotta tell you guys, when they asked me to do this, it didn't take me very long to say yes. I would do this again in a second to benefit veterans. But besides that, I had an awesome time. And I'm doing this video to show everybody what an awesome time we had. Everything we had going on there. We had all kinds of crawling, we had wrecks. I did interviews with people. We gave SCX 24s to kids. Just, there's a kid walking around, don't have an RC car. Here you go. Man, this was such a great event, so family orientated, and it just benefited everybody, including the veterans. So this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video, guys. Why don't you go ahead and crack open your favorite beverage, maybe pop a box of popcorn or open up a bag of Cheetos or something. Kick back on the couch and check this out. You're going to scratch that, just so you know. You're good with that, right? <laughs> All right, guys, I'm here with Justin Brown, Operation 11 Charlie. We're all out here having a great time. Why don't you tell us what Operation Charlie is about? So Operation Live in Charlie brings uh, awareness to veteran suicide. Over, they, they estimate that over 22 veterans a day are committing suicide right now. 22 vets a day, guys. And actually, you know, even if it was just one, it's unacceptable. So, it is unacceptable. And, and that's why we do what we do. What we try to do is uh, help veterans with severe PTSD and other issues through RC therapy. We started last year uh, in May. We've, we've been going for about that long, and uh, our, our first goal was to give away two trucks a year, and in that time, with support of people, we've been able to give away 20 trucks to veterans. It's just going all the time, you know? Uh, we're looking at taking 14 veterans to USTE this year. Nice. And it's because of the amazing support of people like the 970 RC Crawler Club. We, we support our vets, guys. Anything we can do to make them feel more comfortable when they come home, we're, we're all out here. This is a family-based thing, guys. We're out here trying to support everybody we can 
and take care of this PTSD through RC therapy. So what else can you tell me about what's going on here? Yeah, well, like I said, right at the moment, I know that we've got three other builds for three more veterans coming. I, uh, I mean, we've got John Schultz coming on next Monday's show. There's just all kinds of stuff in the works for us. We're really looking forward. We're on a big drive to USTE right now. So like I said, getting those 14 veterans to USTE is a huge goal for us this year. Uh, the lodging, the food, you know, everything. If they don't have rigs, we're gonna supply rigs to them to be there. That's just too awesome, guys. I mean, do you have a Facebook page or something? There's somewhere where, where people can help and Absolutely. maybe maybe donate some money or come out and at least donate your time and show help support the cause, guys. 11charlie.com and it's 11, the number, charlie.com. You can check us out. There's a contact there. You can email us, you know, and get a hold of us that way. All right, thank you guys for coming out here, yeah. man. Oh, we got Go ahead. First one. I'm following the judge. Right through here, course four. Nice work, coming back around. Nice work. That's the way it's done. Yeah, go, go, go. Oh, gate, sorry. You're gonna have to fix that gate before you pr proceed. Deck after Chris. Nay. Uh, Russell. All right, guys, I'm here with Cameron Reese, one of the King of the Hammers 2019, the 4600 class. For people who don't know what the King of Hammers are, can you tell us what the King of Hammers are, Cameron? 
Yeah, the King of the Hammers, it, it was started uh, back by some guys that were out there wheeling, and it was actually, they wanted to just have kind of a, a shootout of who had the fastest vehicle, and it just kind of built, and the people have been wheeling down in the Hammers for a long time. It's a whole bunch of guys that just have a common goal of going down there four-wheeling, and there's different classes. We race in the 4600 class, which is a stock class, so you have a whole bunch of rules and regulations of what you got to do. Like, you can't have anything more than a 35-inch tire. You have to run what the stock suspension is, stock motor, a whole bunch of uh, rules that you have to follow. So very closely regulated then. Very closely regulated. What made you guys get into this? You know, my brother was, and he's not here today. He's out fighting fires in Arizona, but he he's the one. Firefighter. That, yeah, he, <laughs> he's the one that got into this um, and built this truck, and I'm just privileged to come out here with it. I co-drive with him. I sit right here in the passenger seat and follow a little GPS um, telling them where to go and awesome. but mostly along I'm just along for the ride well hey that's a great ride to be on that's for sure so what are you doing out here today in this RC world that we've got going on here well <laughs> my brother and I we've both been really into RC for the last three or four years now and we actually sometimes like it more than just regular wheeling because you know you break an axle you're out 10 bucks where you break an axle on this and it's a little more than that but we uh, Justin Page had invited us to come out to 970 uh, crawlers and has put on this event and we're privileged to um, show this truck off tell people get people interested in king of the hammers come out and do a little rc wheeling and help support the veterans so we're really happy to be here okay i understand you guys have got a new movie coming up which is basically this whole king of the hammers thing called battle of the badlands yeah it's a uh, it's done by black flag productions they're a local company as well but they came out and filmed us put a cameras all over the vehicle and it's a documentary about my brother and i growing up racing and and really what king of the hammers is about so it's coming out december of this year you can go to battle of the badlands.com or follow them on facebook or instagram and yeah, but the whole uh, video will be out in december guys we're going to have a trailer of that attached to this video so you can see what you're going to be watching but that's coming up soon this december don't miss it okay <laughs> I know it doesn't look like much in an 85 Toyota, but it's amazing what you can spin in a piece of junk. Justin asked me um, after he had a couple different co-drivers about it would be really cool if we did it together as brothers. I want to see this rusty nail racing truck beat all this money's ass today. I've been waiting for the chance to prove myself. That's awesome. Thank you very much for, for coming and bringing out your truck to let everybody check this out. And guys, Cameron and Reese, King of the Hammers, we're here at Crawlzilla BFE for RC therapy for PTSD. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, guys. I do not like this new series. Come on, rum sugar. Dude, this servo. Get it. <laughs> there you go. Brian Towsley, G6. Everybody knows him. The man, the myth. Nice work. Nice. Working it. Everybody now wants a Unimog.
All right, guys, I'm out here with Jonathan with Gremlin RC Accessories and Trailers. Uh, he's going to tell you a little bit about what he's doing. He does all kinds of 3D printing stuff here, and this is this is some of the stuff he's 3D printed. We're trying to get it out there, so maybe, maybe you can get rid of some of it. So what, uh, what do you got going on here? Well, I have my buggy. We 3D print wheels. We can, in, we can 3D print uh, fender flares, bumpers, grill accessories, and then um, this is just something to show what we, what our 3D uh, printing capabilities are. That's pretty good quality, man. It looks like it's about eighth of an inch thick. What kind of material is that? Oh, uh, that's ABS. That's ABS. And ABS is ABS is the, good stuff, guys. <laughs> ABS is one of the harder ones to print with because most of the people out there that print normally use PLA because ABS is a little harder to figure out temperature-wise with bed and nozzle. Um, but it's a lot stronger, though. It's a lot stronger. It takes quite a bit. Like, this was a good fall today. Oh, there. Kind of hard for you guys to see that, but we blew up a printed tire today. Or a printed wheel, I'm sorry. Printed wheel. Huh. That, that's pretty blown up, man. Yep. You missed a hit pretty hard, but oh, this, yeah. is, this weighs quite a bit, though, too. Yeah, this is about you know? 10 pounds. Guys, this, this is a beautiful rig. You guys will get to see it out there crawling. I got some good shots of it. This is a beautiful rig you put together. And then this is uh, what we sell. This is one of the trailers. This is the drive-through fender trailer. And we have drive-over fenders and uh, high boy, or high deck goosenecks. We have a triple axle and a tandem axle. All kinds of trailers, guys. Whatever you want 3D printed, pretty much. Get with this guy, Jonathan. He'll and hook right you up. Right now, we have <laughs> a drive over fender low boy gooseneck on its way out for being produced. We're getting ready to announce it when we get our first one printed. So that'll be another one out there available to buy. That sounds great. You mind if I, I just want to show this to these yeah. guys over here? God, that doesn't weigh anything. Check this out, guys. Look at this. Look at the quality in this. What kind of wood is this? Is this pine? Oh, it's pine. It's pine. This doesn't weigh anything. The quality of this is amazing. This is all 3D printed. This is ABS. It's all ABS. Printed the wheels. Got good tires on there. I mean, this is awesome, guys. If you guys are looking for a good trailer, you need to hook up with this guy, Jonathan. He'll take care of your needs or whatever kind of 3D printing you got that you want. At least you can see. Those printed wheels. Doing some gnarly stuff with my scaler here. There there it is. Is.
you get it today. Oh, man. Oh, oh, damn it. No. Bonus, but you must you have to actually have a six. Awesome. Don't 
Don't worry about me guys, just do what I did. Just did one of the trickiest parts all day long right here. Oh! oh. <laughs> Beautiful wow. driving. Swing wide on these things just so you, the other driver knows. Okay, you got one gate. See that switch, son? Any way you want to go, here's your gate. Gate's alive. It's three reverses so far, Russell. Gate since you already hit it, make sure you just freaking get it. Okay, guys, I'm out here with Justin Page. We're out here at Crawlzilla 2020. You know what we're trying to do, guys, is we're trying to get some uh, cars in the hands of some uh, veterans. You know, one thing we've noticed is it's huge for these guys that come home after having an active tour and we get them a we get them a uh, car so that they can go out and it really helps out these guys with PTSD. We have some awesome sponsors out here. We've got Loki out here donated some jackets for us. We got Team G Speed. Uh, they they donated to some uh, chassis for us. We're going to give those things away. It's uh, pretty exciting. Uh, we also have uh, Team Garage Hack. They hooked us up with some really good prizes. I don't know if you guys can see. We look, also have Go for Food. Look at the stuff they're giving to the kids, guys. Yeah. Believe me, if you just had a kid out here right now, you could probably get one of these. Yeah. So these guys, these little 24 scales, were all donated from uh, Go for Foods, man. It's just awesome to be able to see that these guys have already got some. We had a total of six cars when we got out here. We've already gave three away, and we're getting ready to give three more away. So 
I don't know what we can say to tell you guys that we are putting on an event that's just absolutely crazy. This is awesome. If we could do this every month, I would be here every month. This is the best thing that's happened to 2020, probably for sure. Well, especially with COVID, man. I mean, we've been fighting all these rules and regulations, and now we're out here. We're out actually out here to play, and we're actually out here to have a good time. Hobby Hut Models donated a bunch of cool stuff, too, and I just want to give them a huge shout out for some of that Thanks, stuff. Chris. Thanks, Parker. Appreciate it, bud. You guys are awesome. Hey, guys, just in case you didn't know, man, we also have the 2019 winner of the King of the Hammers truck right here on location with the co-driver. The Reese boys are here. We are getting ready to start the unlimited event, and it's going to be huge. We're going to run these guys up the canyon and do 10 laps around this thing, and we're just going to have a ball with this. What do you think? I'm here, guys. I'm going to get it all on camera so that you guys that are not here, you'll be able to see this. And we got Cameron Reese here. He's going to be running his bomber. And we're just out here to have a great time. I can't believe this is already, what, November 7th? And it, yeah, it, it's yeah. such a beautiful day. We're in t-shirts, guys. Can you believe this? It's awesome out here. Welcome to Colorado, We man. want to see this you guys here this. for our next event. And you know what we've been hearing, too, man, is, is that this course is a lot tougher than they expected. And that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to bring you out here, and we wanted to challenge you. We wanted to take your truck, and we wanted to make it happen. These guys have brought some awesome rigs out here, and I am totally impressed with some of these guys and what they have done, man. We have had zero breakdowns. Well, we may have had three or four breakdowns, but we're not going to call it that. We'll get it fixed. We'll get it back on the track, and we'll run them. So Stock stuff stucks, all right, guys? So you <laughs> modify everything, right? So, you know, another huge thing, upgraded RC, man. He came out here. He did all this stuff, and he's doing this. He's my friend. He's my buddy. We love him. We appreciate it. It's Thank for a great guys. cause, guys. I, I would not not be here. All right, we got to get the major fix here. Yeah, we got. Yeah, you were there to see that, or not hear it, or not know. <laughs> I didn't know what happened, but I heard it. There you go. There you I go. Mean, you weren't doing no good no more. Broken locker. There it is. Just right there. Three wheel drive. That'll do it every time. <laughs> It's not our first time changing one of these though. This is a sporty shafty crawler. Okay. Um, it's just custom made. That's nice. I like Thanks. that. Beautiful. This video, we can judge you later. But... I got one back right, up. That's cool. Well, I'll just wait, take a little break, and get some water in me. So top heavy. in reverse, it's senseless. <laughs>
Right here, buddy. That's your car. Now I'll tell you what. Watch your car. Thank you. Alright? We got one more right here. Where's your car at? Where's your car? Go get Where where's your car? See Justin. Come here and see me. You want a car? I tell you what, what's your name? Onyx. Onyx? Onyx. You want a car? You want a car? Alright, here it is. That's all you. She has a green yeah! Awesome, guys. Give me high fives. Give me high fives. All right, let's give him a big Woo! round of applause. Hey, guys, I'm out here with Brandon Strait today. How do you think the turnout was, Brandon? Sorry. Dude, that was amazing. I, I was happy with everybody that came out today. We had people from Moab. We had people from all sorts of parts of Colorado. 
a ton of trucks, a huge turnout for you know this event, and I'm happy everybody showed up. I mean, our number one goal with this whole thing was to you know raise money for our vets and Operation Love and Charlie. And as of right now, I believe we've done that. Oh, I think it was great, so. man. I had a good time out here today, guys. I, I can't believe the weather held out for us, and we had such a good turnout for our first event. There's going to be plenty more after this. Oh, of course, there's going to be Jesse from Bonktown. Jesse, Jesse, one nine. One nine. Yeah. Second place for one nine. Tyler Rohde. Tyler. That's all these one twos. First place is going to be Russell, number twenty-four. All right. Sounds like Russell was a So then, second place for 2-2 two -two is going to be Nick. I forgot to write down a number for him. I'm sorry. <laughs> Same thing. Anything on that table underneath the DC. We got Kiva for the show truck. I think he's, he's over there in the dumpster. Hey! There he is. Jerry! Jerry! <laughs> you won a prize for most points! Yeah! <laughs> 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 here you go, buddy! You won a you give it to me. That kid's driving my truck. Here, give me that twenty dollars back. Don't give your That's Jerry style right there. Watch hey, this, guys. You driving my truck. There you go. All right, Jerry's fine. Disagrees with the winner on this one. <laughs> My son. Yeah, this guy right here. All right, for the unlimited winner, come on up here, sir. Hey. Good job, dude. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. It's a mean truck. I bent the steering it linkage. It is. Did you, did you show it? Did you show it to the camera? No, I did not show it to the camera. It survived. It's bent. That's it. You guys ready for raffle tickets? Oh yeah. Alright, got a Team G Speed shirt. You guys ready? Hold on. I think it's a shirt. I'm not sure. But it's in this thing. This is it. Ticket number 229026. Damn it, you should have What? what is it? <laughs> Thank you, G Speed! Oh, God damn it, you're giving it to the guys from Moab? <laughs> All right, guys, dual servo mount, team garage hack. That's what I need. Everybody needs one of these. You guys have a long drive. All right, we got water bottles from, uh, from uh, Hobby Hut. Thank you, Hobby Hut. 46. Uh, I had 46, goddammit. Uh, <laughs> Alright. He's right there. Hey, where are your shoes? Here, go take this to the hairy guy over there. <laughs> See if you can get a sick of his beer. Over That's it. No, I don't have one. 32! Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, G Speed. All right. Who wants a gopher hat? I do. Is there enough money there? Is you give me a. Thank you, uh, Monument Oil. 
hooking this up. They're actually the guys that uh, sponsored us with the 24 scale cars that we gave away here. Thank you. I just want you guys to know that they uh, hooked us up with three of those things. So, killer, huh? Hell yeah. Alright, who wants a toolkit? Right here. Woo! That's what I need. Always. Alright, you want a toolkit? Yeah, everyone wants one. You do? You want one? I like you. You know what? Here, here you go. I'll tell you what, I got something better than that. Here! Loki! Loki gets to hook us up with some of these things. What do you think? You want some of this? What do you say? Nice! Alright! It's a toolkit! 50! 50! I wish you could have used this on the trail. Alright, once again, who wants a G-Speed truck? G-Speed, we have a uh, chassis mounted servo mount. Alright, we got one more chassis mounted servo set up. This is a uh, side lay. This is the new product that just came out. I don't know if you guys follow it, but uh, he just designed this to just kind of be able to lay a little bit flatter across the bottom end. Killer little product we got going on. All right, we got some racers and scale tucks. Hobby hunt hobbies. All right, we got a couple of lanyards for Team Garage Hack. 52. Again! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Alright, Team Garage Hack. This is a chassis mounted servo. It's where, uh, uh, you know what I mean. It's one of those things that you hook up your thingy and just yeah. parts. 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 Any parts. 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 Four parts. 36. 36. Yet, man, but these these hook up to your rod links. And you put them in your drill. You can screw your rod your uh, rod links right on there. Pretty killer little item design. You got two of these. Ready? Fifteen. Fifteen. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Blood light boy. Thank you so much. All right, man. We got some uh, hot racing shackles. Thank you. Uh, Bobby Hunt? Capra axles? Does it help if I own a Capra? Well, did anybody run a Capra axles? <laughs> Alright, I'm thinking of a number. What's your closest number? Well, between the line and what? 1974. One and ten. What? Gary, one and ten. Who said close. seven? Me. All right, come on up here. Here's the seven here. Seven. Oh, they both said seven? All right. Rock, 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 I said 1974, goddammit. Let's do this. All right. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Team Garage Hack, dual solo mount in blue. Oh, yeah. 22. 22. 22. Spacer's Team G Speed chassis. Right. Oh, you're 48? <laughs> Bring him another beer, please. They're out. I just All right. Alright, guys. Thanks, Leah. We got special cooperation with I won't say nothing. This is a $200 jacket. This is our main prize. They won't see it. I don't know if you guys have seen any of this kind of stuff. Loki gear. No problem. Has man. anybody not seen this gear? I'd like to really see Okay, the, see this is uh, Seth out. Anderson. This is a brother from another We're mother here, man. We that. started this out in 1990 uh, at Central High School. We'll, uh, we'll do this again. And uh, killer guy, killer prize. Appreciate Who wants this one? Thank you very much. All right. It helps, hey. it helps every little bit we can get here. It helps everybody else out. You know? 17. 17. Everybody's something to do. <laughs> I mean, this could have been a really shitty day when everybody got up this morning and stuff. And I was thinking, oh, well, my dad would be next to me. Oh, yeah, fuck you up at that man! Oh, 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 do you guys want to do this? Yeah! Hey, I want one of those, bud! Alright, let's do this! I want that! Hold up. <laughs>
Too, damn it. Yeah. I want you guys to all know this foundation that we have with Operation 11 Charlie is killing. We're going to raise as much money as we can. We're going to give him the cash donation to this, this whole thing. This is all nonprofit. We're not making a dime off of this. We're going to give this money. We're going to make sure that he gets a chance to be able to get another car, raffle it off to be able to get more cars and start getting these cars in the hands of PTSD sufferers out there right now. Okay? So I want to give a special thanks. Thank you guys for coming out here. And uh, one other thing, there was a little thing with the uh, election and the post office and all that kind of stuff. I have some sponsors that sent stuff out that didn't come in the mail. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it got caught up with the Democrats' election votes or whatever. But I'm just Democrats? letting you guys know. Wait, I'm a Democrat. Okay. And I'm I appreciate it. Gone. Because if I'm we anti don't win it. Money. I want you guys to hang on to your raffle tickets. Subscribe to us at the Crawlzilla event. Subscribe to us at 970. Subscribe at the, uh, uh, the, uh, yeah, upgraded RC. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. And uh, make sure you guys do that. We're going to do an online raffle for those prizes when they come in. I've got uh, Three Brothers Racing that's coming in, and I also have In the Works that sent us out some stuff, too. So uh, I just want you guys to know that there's more to this, and get online, and we're going to do an online raffle for this, all right? After this is all said. So keep your tickets, and we're going to draw some more, okay? Finally. So Operation 11 Charlie has a little truck going on right now. He, know, he has really all the information about it, but this right here is a raffle ticket for it, correct? Yeah. So, we're going to raffle this off, but I do need the ticket back with your information on the back. Or you need to give me your information, one or the other, we're so I can put you into the raffle. So, number 23. What is it? It's a, it's 23! A, Woo! Woohoo! Oh, yeah! So what this is, is a monster energy. One more, one more special mention here. Listen guys, this guy right here, Cameron Reese, his brother couldn't be here. Kelly Reese and the rest of the Rusty Nail Race team, they came out here, they put on a show, they showed you guys what racing is truly about. These guys are the winners of the King of the Hammer, all right? They're real deal people. And there are real people out here that are just like us that are making this all happen. They've got a movie that's coming out. We have a, a huge shout out for those guys. It's called Battle of the Badlands. It's coming out in the December. And uh, it's Levi Comstock and uh, Black Flag Industries. And uh, I just want you guys to know, get online, check out the trailer, buy the movie, whatever it takes. Come out and support these guys. Let's make it all happen. Big thanks. Thanks, Justin. And we really appreciate that Justin wasn't here, but he at least he made it up. <laughs> made it not rain. He did the rain, the anti dance. Your favorite? Yeah. Awesome. Hey, I got one more thing to give away. Raffle ticket. You bet, man. Thank you. Oh. Got one more. Team Garage hat koozie. No, I'm 46. 46? Oh, Who's got 43? I think it's close enough. Uh, it's close enough. Close enough? Close enough? <laughs> 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 All right, guys, thank you guys for all coming out. And we really appreciate you guys coming out and supporting us. Oh, great. Scratch my truck. You know, that truck was totally perfect. Uh, no. There was a scratch in that thing until you can get that guy's truck. Well, that's all I got for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. 
Maybe I've persuaded a couple of you to come out to our next crawl. I know the veterans would love your support, and you guys would have an unbelievable, amazing time. It is so much fun. This is probably, literally, this is the best thing that's happened to me in 2020. This was an awesome time. Like I said, I would do it again in a second. So until next time, guys, I'm Travis. You're watching Upgraded RC. Thank you for all support. Peace out.